Welcome, I'm Joshi, and in this playthrough of Marvel Champions, we have Hulk versus Hela in stand difficulty. Uh, we are doing protection for Hulk. Uh, let's go straight into the setup, shall we? Uh, so we attach Odin to the main scheme, captive side up. So we have Odin right here. Uh, we'll attach him to the main scheme. And then we need to reveal uh, Nifel here. Nifelo. Don't know how to pronounce it. Nifelo here. Uh, it comes in with two threat, but has one here. Uh, hinder so it's a player, so I have three threat. It's going to put an acceleration icon in the play, and we also put Garm into play. So Garm comes in, he's tough, it's four health per player. He engages the first player, and threat cannot be removed from here until he's defeated. And then all these guys will be put aside out of play, and they'll come into play throughout the course of the game. Uh, so we'll advance to uh, 1B. Uh, so we have Odin's Torment, which threats out 18. Uh, as a force to interrupt when Hela would be defeated. If Odin is attached to this scheme, discard each attachment from Hela and flip her to a winded side instead. Uh, so it threats out 18 and comes in with one threat per player. Hela herself, she has a scheme of one, attack of one. She gets plus one scheme and plus one attack and plus two hit points for each side scheme in the victory display. And uh, when she's defeated, if Odin's not attached to the main scheme, we win the game. So that's what this is all about. We've got to go free Odin with these side quests over here. Uh, so with that all set up, let's uh, draw up our five uh, hand size. Crushing blow, assess the situation, strength, unstoppable force, and a queen carrier. I'm going to throw away assess the situation and unstoppable force. We'll keep these three and draw two more. Of limitless strength and a med team. We'll experiment research to draw a card, discard a card. We have deaf focus. Sure, we'll uh, hold on deaf focus. Don't know if we'll actually use it. We'll flip up to Hulk. We're going to use a uh, limitless strength to put in the Quinn carrier. We will then. Use the Queen Carrier for a crushing blow to knock the tough off Garm. Then use our strength to put in a Death Focus. And then we'll attack Garm for three. And we'll ready up. Draw four cards. We have a Med Team, Night Nurse, Removable Object, and Genius. All right, we get two threat in the main scheme. Hala is going to attack us for one plus nothing. Garm will attack us for two. We'll get our encounter card on scheme. So Hala schemes for one plus one, so two. Take a note of five. All right, we will. What will we do here? We use the Quinn Carrier and Genius to put in a movable object. Which will give us Retaliate and four hit points. We'll then use the Med Team to put in the Night Nurse. We'll attack Garm and knock him out. He goes to the victory display. And we will ready. We've got four more cards. With Black Widow, Suborder Leap, Assess the Situation, and Agent 13. We've got two threat in the main scheme. Hell is going to attack us for one plus nothing. So it's just for one. We retaliate on her for one. Get our encounter card. And here comes Abomination already. So Abomination comes to play. Get Total Destruction. And our Clash of the Titans will go into here.
Cool. We will. It's going to give us a hazard icon. You're going to use Death Focus, Queen Carrier, and Black Widow for Suborbital Leap. You're going to be 5 threat from this scheme. We're going to attack Abomination for 3. We're going to flip down, we're going to assess the situation, it gives an extra hand size, and we're going to hold into Agent 13. So we're going to get 6. Cards all up, so Thunderclap, Helicarrier, Government Liaison, Parent All of Us, and Energy. Get two threat in the main scheme. Halot is going to scheme for one plus two, so three. Pushing us to seven, and then abominational scheme for two. Pushing us to nine. Get two encounter cards because of total destruction. Uh, we go to Hulk and we exhaust our hero. Place one threat in the main scheme and one dish threat for each main scheme in the victory display. There's only the one, so we're up to ten. All right, we're going to power on all of us to put in government liaison. We're going to use government liaison, queen carrier and energy to put in agent 13. We will then oh, this should be gone. So annoying that we had to flip up. Uh She's going to thwart two off the main. Let's us ready government liaison. We're going to flip down. Is our experimentary says draw a card, discard a card. We have Lockjaw. Not what I was hoping for. Um, yeah. We'll throw away Thunderclap. We'll hold on to Helicarrier. And we're ready up. Right, we'll get. Uh, a couple more cards here. We have Subtle Leap, Hulk Smash, Crushing Blow, and Unstoppable Force. Going to get two threat on here, taking us to ten. Hell is going to scheme for one plus. Uh, so this gets attached to her, so it's going to boost up to a scheme of two, and she'll get a face down boost card. Twelve, and then Abominational Scheme for two as well, taking us to fourteen. Get our two encounter cards. But Laufey comes in with tough. Now, if he attacks and damage the character, they get stunned. We have unnatural storm. Hero, uh, heroes and allies cannot be ready by player card effects. I'm revealed. Exhaust each ally in play. We'll experimental research. Draw a card. Discard a card. Hulk smash. Um, 
Alright, there's one thing for it. We'll flip up. We will... Use an unstoppable force. Crush... Oh, Suborbital leap. And death focus to Hulk smash. The 13 onto Abomination. The rest going on to Hella. Which will put her to her wounded side. Take away her crown. Use Government Liaison. Queen Carrier and a Crushing Blow to put in a Heli Carrier. And that'll be our turn. That's just, uh, we can't be ready by player card effects, so everyone can ready. We'll draw four cards. Avengers Mansion, Med Team, Limitless Strength, and Power and All of Us. Two threat in the main scheme, pushes to 16. Hala is going to attack us. We'll take it for zero plus three, four. So. Does four to us. We would retaliate. Laufey's going to attack us. We are just going to take it. So it's going to be four. He's going to stun us. But we do retaliate and knock his tough off. Then we'll get our encounter cards. Frost Giant comes to play with tough. And the villain attacks us. So again, just going for zero plus one. Okay. That should be ready. I'm going to use Heli Carrier and the Queen Carrier and a Power and All of Us to put an Avengers Mansion. We'll exhaust Avengers Mansion, draw a card. Spend his lab. Go ahead and put, uh, spend three resources to put in a med team. Uh, we'll attack to remove our stun. Page of 13 will thwart 2. Reading the heli carrier. But that does anything for us. Um, and we're ready. Well, I mean, we'll use the night nurse. Actually, no. Night Nurse can heal us for one and remove our stun. Which means we can then attack Lalfi for three. And we're ready. And we'll use our med team as well to heal two. We have four cards, we have a Thunderclap, Ingenuity, War Machine, and Mockingbird. Two threat in the main. Hell is going to attack us for zero plus one. It's us for one. Laufey's going to attack us for four. We will take it. One, two, three, four. Tell it him for one. Uh, this guy's going to attack us for three. Tell it knock his tough off. Two encounter cards. It's one threat main scheme and one additional threat for each thing inside scheme. Luckily there is none, so we're still hanging in there by one. Enemy with the highest attack attacks the hero ally with the highest attack. So it's going to be Hulk. Laufey's going to attack us. We will defend. We take one. Oh, we should be stunned. The attack. And we put another... Damage on him from the Retaliate. Cool. This is over. Avengers Mansion to draw a card. 
We have Snow Guard. Can we pull it back from the brink? Pally Carrier. Queen Carrier. War Machine. And Ingenuity. Three and Snow Guard. We're going to put two shift counters on her so she gets the three thwart. Just going to thwart three off here. Uh, Agent 13's going to thwart two off here. Uh, Night Nurse will heal us for one, remove our stun. Uh, when Agent 13 did a thwart, she readies Heli Carrier. We're going to use Death Focus, Heli Carrier, and Mockingbird for a Thunderclap. Choose up three enemies, deal three damage to them, so we'll knock out Laufey. Throw three damage on the Frost Giant. I'll flip down and ready. Five cards. Three. That's an encounter card. Three, four, and five. Uh, we get two threat in the main scheme. Hellas schemes for zero plus one. If they're attacking, they're not. So one takes us to 15. Heal scheme for one takes us to 16. Get our encounter cards. Uh, discard. Lock draws in play with us as a minion. Attached to Hellas, she gets piercing. And attach our identity, we cannot ready. Um, we will use the Queen Carrier as a mental resource and the power of all of us as another mental resource to bring in Moon Girl. Using all mental resources, we draw three cards. We experiment to research, draw a card, discard a card, and stop or force. Throw that away. Use Avengers Mansion to draw a card. All right, we will use Boundless Rage and Energy to get rid of Frozen. Moon Girl's going to thwart two of total destruction. It's going to flip Hella. Back to our eight health. Um, Agent 13. I thought two off the unnatural storm. Knocking her out. Snow guard thwarts three off here. We'll flip up to Hulk. We're going to use Limitless Strength and Government Liaison to play Nick Fury. We'll draw three cards. Faz Lab, War Machine, and Ingenuity. 
wanted strength resources, but fine. Nick will thwart two off here. We'll use a med team to heal two on Hulk. We will helicarrier and death focus. And Hulk smash to Thunderclap to deal three damage to three enemies. So we knock out the Frost Giant. Put three on Lockjaw. Three on Hella. We're going to spend two to put in Banner's Lab. They're giving us plus two recovery. We're going to assess the situation and give us plus hand size. We're going to attack, knock out Lockjaw. And that is us done. We were ready. Let's see if we can get through this. Get five cards because of this situation. We have Mockingbird, Suborbital Leap, Hulk Smash, Crushing Blow, and Limitless Strength. All right, we get two throughout the main scheme. Hala is going to attack us. Nick is going to block it. So she's coming for two plus one is three. Also, she's got piercing. I'll put that there. Nick blocks all that. Uh, get on counter card, take one indirect damage and one additional indirect damage for each side skin victory, so, which is none, so we'll just take the one. Okay. I spend three resources to bring in Mockingbird. Avengers Mansion should be ready. We will stun Hella. And we'll use the Avengers Mansion to draw a card. Can I miss Power and Altman? Should have played that first. Actually, you know what? I'm rewinding it. I don't care. We're rewinding. Play Avengers Mansion. I use Power and Olivus and Government Liaison to play Mockingbird and do all that. I will... use this med team to heal two from Snow Guard. Snow Guard is going to thwart three. Of Niffler here, send it to the victory display. And when defeated, we get Scourge. And Yalabru. Yalabru. Scourge comes with a tough. This is going to have four threat on it. And we can amplify Archon. That's gone. Acceleration's gone. And when Scourge is in play, we can't remove threat from there. We are going to thwart two of Moon Girl off the main, knocking her out. We're going to use the Queen Carrier as a physical resource for a crushing blow to knock the tough off Scourge. We're then going to spend three physical for Hulk Smash onto Scourge, with the rest of it going onto Hella. Scourge goes to victory. Hella will get defeated again, flipping her to our other side. Removing her attachment.
Uh, Mockingbird's going to thwart one. Uh, I finally had another resource. Um, yeah, we'll we'll stay up. We'll throw away a suborbital leap. Already. Get four cards. We have a crushing blow, strength, genius, and med team. One threat on the main. Halla would go attack, but she's stunned. Get our encounter card. Age of Hell, when revealed. Two to three for each undead minion play. There is none, so it'll surge. Get a Draugr, who is undead. Oh, and because of the thing of victory, Halla's also got plus one of stats, but she doesn't have them when she's in this form. We'll come in with a guard. I know I have a token somewhere. There we go. When revealed, I take uh, one damage or place one threat main scheme. We will take a damage. Now back to us. All right. Use government liaison and genius. Put in another med team. Uh, Snow Guard's going to thwart to move all the threat off here to go with the Christ Cyclone. Use a med team to heal her up. We will use the Queen Carrier for a crushing blow on the Draugr to knock him out. I will Avengers Mansion draw a card. It's Black Widow. We will use the Halley Carrier and our strength to play Black Widow. She'll thwart two off the main. Fucking bird will thwart another one. Wait, we defeated that, so that means she's going to flip back. And she'll have 10 health. Widow has a damage on her. Gonna flip down. Gonna recover six with Hulk. And we're ready. Can't believe I'm still in this. Get five cards. We have a suborbital leap. Assess the situation. Thunderclap. Unstoppable force. And med team, which decks us out. Villain's turn, we get a threat on the main scheme. Haller is going to scheme for two plus three, four. So it's going to take her up to 13. Get another encounter card. Uh, then if highest attack attacks the hero or ally with the highest attack. Okay, so I'm going to pick either of these two. I'm going to just choose Mockingbird then. So Hella comes in, she's attacking for 2, plus 3, 4, and 5. Knocks out Mockingbird. And, and she gets her crown. She's stalwart. Okay. Well, 
Will experimental research draw a card, discard a card, it's a crushing blow. Throw away the med team. Will Avengers Mansion to draw a card? Strength. We're going to flip up into Hulk. We can use Death Focus and our Strength. Suborder Leap. Take all the threat off here. Just going to push Hella to get plus two to her stats and another two health. Then we reveal Nidhogg and the Hall of Nostrand. That's going to come with five. Get rid of the Amplify. Going to get a Hazard. And Nidhogg is tough. Snow Guard's going to thwart uh, three off the main. Use the Quinn Carrier, pay for a crushing blow to knock the tough off Nidhogg. Going to attack for three with Hulk. We're going to use the Heli Carrier and the Thunderclap to pay for unstoppable force. So, ready Hulk, if you pay for the and physical resources, draw a card, which we did because we reduced the cost by one and we only paid a physical. We get another unstoppable force, but it's fine. We're ready. We attack for another three. We knock out Nidhogg. We'll play and assess the situation to give us five hand size for the next phase. Throw away this, and we were ready. One, two, three, four, and five. Villain's turn. We get one threat in the main scheme. Hala is going to attack us. We're going to block with Black Widow. So she's coming for three plus four, five. Knocks out Black Widow. Get her encounter cards, which is going to deck out and give her permanent acceleration. Uh, take one indirect damage and one additional indirect damage for each side skin victory display, which there is two. So we'll give one to Snow Guard and one to Hulk. Oh, sorry, a two to Hulk it will be. Because it's one, two, plus three from the card. And the villain attacks us. All right, we're just going to take it. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Taking us down to two. We do retaliate for one at least. Something. And now it's back to our turn. Why am I exhausted? Did I defend at any point? I think I should be ready, right? Why was I exhausted? I'm sure I was meant to be ready. Okay, we will... Death Focus, Heli Carrier, Quinn Carrier, Hulk Smash for 13. Putting Hala to her wounded side. Uh, we're going to use Med Team. Heal two off Snow Guard. Snow Guard's going to thwart three off here.
There's government liaison, energy in a boundless rage, bring in agent 13. We use Avengers Mansion, draw a card while we're at it. Ingenuity. Uh, Agent 13 is going to thwart two off here. Lennis Ready Halley Carrier. We're going to flip down. We're going to use Helicarrier and Thunderclap to put in Ingenuity. Then we're ready up. Get five cards. We have a Genius, Power and All of Us, Lockjaw, Nick Fury, and Power and All of Us. Okay. We get two threat in the main scheme, taking us to 11. Hala is scheming for zero because she doesn't get her benefits while she's on her winner side. Zero plus one, she goes up to 12. Get two encounter cards. Natural Storm and Revealed exhaust each ally in play. That's terrible. Well, I didn't read Snow Guard, so fine. And a Draugr. We'll put one threat on the main scheme. And he has guard. Okay, we're going to Avengers Mansion to draw a card. We'll experimental research to draw a card, discard a card. Med team will throw away lockjaw. All right. Can you use, no, we can't use that. We're going to Banner's Lab, Ingenuity, Pally Carrier, Quinn Carrier. Or are we? No, we're not. No, we're not. We're just going to use Power and All of Us and Power and All of Us to bring in Nick Fury. After Nick ends play, we are going to draw three cards. Got a Moon Girl, Crushing Blow, and Limitless Strength. Nick is going to thwart two off Hall and Strand. So, when defeated, the first player detaches Odin from the main scheme, takes control of him, and deal each player a face down encounter card. So, there's our encounter card. Here comes Odin. Uh, we're going to replace Agent 13 to put Odin. Actually, no, Odin doesn't even count against our hand, so he can just stay there and play. Uh, which means Hala is going to. Now I've got another. Thing here. Go up to three on her stats. She flips back up. And now she's going to have an additional six hit points. So she'll be on 14. Looking for a whole bunch. This goes away though. Nick has one damage on him. Right. Odin will do nothing yet. Jeez, remember I thought this was over. We're going to We're not even going to heal, are we? We're going to use Genius and Banner's Lab to play Moon Girl. And she's going to replace Agent 13.
Uh, we spent three mental resources, so we draw three cards. We have a Hulk Smash, Suborbital Leap, War Machine. This is going to be game. So, Moon Girl will attack for two. Um, Odin can attack. Actually, no, Odin just attacks for three. And knocks out this guy. Then Moon Girl attacks for two. She takes. They both take two consequential damage. Uh, we flip up to Hulk. We use Limitless Strength for a Hulk Smash. Doing 13 damage to Hella. We also had various other tricks we're crushing below. We could have done Solar Leap to control some more threat. But otherwise, assuming we didn't make any mistakes, though it was a quite a <laughs> enduring game, I probably did make some mistakes, but hopefully uh, you enjoyed that. And as a result, Hulk's strongest one there is. Um, so yeah, if you make, enjoyed that game, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. It was a bit of a long one and I had a lot going on, so I won't be surprised if I find a few mistakes. But I think ultimately it was a, a pretty fun game, especially at the end there, um, pulling out all these cards. And um, essentially, yeah, at one point I thought it was absolutely over, but I managed to pull it back, it seems. So, yeah, thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next time.